uh, hello my dear subscribers and uh, watchers in this video we will uh, talk about more control flow tools besides the while statement just introduce it Python used the usual flow control statement known from other languages with some twists uh, if statements perhaps the most well-known statement type is the if statement uh, for example we can do something like that and uh, there uh, can be zero or more elif part and the else part in uh, is optional uh, the keyword uh, elif is short for else if and it's useful to avoid excessive identification and if a leaf a leaf a sequence is a substitute to the speech or case statement uh, found in other uh, languages so let's uh, create our first if uh, statement uh, for example we also must create something like that uh, so what uh, we can see here method in, uh, input what this method do this method uh, took uh, data from user and uh, we will uh, store it uh, store the data from user in our variable so let's run it and test we can see that it print please enter an integer because uh, we uh, type it this uh, it here let uh, type something uh, 54 for example and press enter so now our 54 is stored in our x variable uh, and to learn to do uh, something different for example let create our if statement if x is equal to 0 must uh, print something example yes I think print only zero print zero uh, elif elif <coughs> elif x is equal to one print one and so on print one and uh, also and here we can type else and print it will be print more simply so let's test it run uh, something was happening with this so we must tap here at top here so run please enter an integer let's uh, me enter zero it uh, type it as zero it's uh, right uh, also let me try to run and uh, type one it uh, give me one and uh, for example something like that it uh, type it me more so what is for statements the for statement in python uh, differs a bit from what you may be used in c or pascal rather than always uh, iterating over an arithmetic progression of number like uh, Pascal or diving the user the ability to define both the iteration step and halting condition SC. Python's for statement iterates over the item of any sequence, a list or a string in the order that they appear in the sequence. For example, not pun intended. You can see how it works here. 
code that uh, modifies a collection while iterating over the same collection can be tricky to get right. Instead, it is uh, usually more straight, straightforward to loop over a copy of the collection or to create a new collection. Uh, the range function, if you do need to iterate over the sequence of uh, numbers, the built-in function range comes in handily. It generates arithmetic progression. You can see it here. The given uh, uh, endpoint is now a part of the generated sequence. Range uh, 10 generates 10 values, the legal indices for items, a sequence of length 10. It's possible to let the range uh, start off uh, another at, uh, at another number or to specify a different increment. Even negative, sometimes this is called step. Uh, to iterate uh, over the indices of a sequence, you can combine range and line as follow. In uh, most such cases, however, it is convenient to use the emute, uh, uh, enumerate function. Uh, we can see it in looping technicus. Uh, a strange uh, thing happens if you just print a range. Many object uh, return it, uh, by it uh, man in many ways. The object returning by range behaves as if uh, it is a list, but in fact it isn't. It is an object which uh, which returns a successive item of uh, the desired sequence when you iterate over it, but it uh, doesn't really make the list as uh, a semantic space. Uh, we say such an object is uh, iterable, that is uh, suitable as a target for function, and a construct that expects something from which they can uh, obtain uh, successive items until the supply is exhausted. exhausted. Uh, we have seen that uh, the for statement in such a construct while an example of a function that takes an iterable uh, is sum. We can see it here. So, uh, it's uh, all for this part of my Python crash course. Uh, in this video we learned more about if statements, in general uh, also about for statements, the range function, uh, in general more about control flows. In next video we will learn more about uh, breaking continuous statements and also about else clause on loops. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you in the next one.